Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Steve here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom images or banners uh, for your blog, for your website, for whatever you want to do, sometimes even for a Facebook post or for social media. This is super, super easy. You really only need a couple of tools. Both of them are free. You probably only have at least one of them already. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this. So by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to do this for yourself. You've probably seen a lot of different blogs, a lot of different websites where they have these really cool graphics or really cool images which are custom tailored with this awesome text, cool visual effects. Um, you can even click on it and a link to somewhere they want you to want to take you. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that because there are a lot of places that will do this for you and, and charge you for it. There's a lot of outsourcers that you can pay to do this, but why pay for something that you can do yourself, right? This is really easy. It doesn't take a long time and you don't have to have any real technical know-how as you will see shortly. So as you can see in front of you, I started a blog post about this very thing, how to create a custom image or banner for your blog or website for free. Well, as you can see, there's no image. So I'm actually gonna take you along for the ride and I'm gonna make this image right now with you and you're gonna watch me and how I do it step by step, okay? It's super, super simple. So the first thing you need to do um, is you need a couple of tools. The first tool you need is PowerPoint. Okay, and PowerPoint is usually something that you get with Microsoft Office. If you have Microsoft Office on your computer, you have PowerPoint, okay? If you don't have Microsoft Office, there are a lot of open source versions of it where you can get it online. And I will even include a link below in the text of this video and then a text of the blog post where you can click on it to find uh, Office for open source. But you do need PowerPoint for this strategy. Um, and the second tool you need is called Jing. That's J-I-N-G. It's also free. There's a link below this video where you can click on it and go get Jing for free. Also, you just download it. The Jing is the, is the ca screen capture or the, or the image capture software that you're going to use. And I'll show you how to do all this stuff. So let's start with um, gathering up an image. The first thing you need to do is search for an image. Now, I don't necessarily search for the exact title of the blog post or website. Like I'm not going to go search for how to create a custom image or banner because I'm going to find a whole bunch of pre-made stuff that someone else has done, some, some kind of static stuff that's boring, that's uh, not necessarily what I'm looking for. I like visually appealing stuff. So what I did, I took a little time but right before I started this video and I started looking for stuff. I started looking for the terms blog, website, just to kind of see what kind of images I came up with. So I went over here and here's, here's my Google search for website and I actually found a pretty cool image. I like this image. See this image right here? It's visually appealing. It's colorful. It's got a bunch of different images. You can see he's reaching out to choose some. So it's like perfect for what I want to do. Okay, so this is what you do. This is how you take this image and make it your own. So if you're in Google search, uh, you know, you, what you do is you search on Google, then you click images right here and all these images come up. Okay, so I scroll down here. Here's the image. Now, to avoid going to this website, wherever this links to, there's two buttons over here. You don't want to click on the image and you don't want to click on visit page. You want to click on view image. And then what it does is it just shows you the image and then the URL to that image. So what I do is I just right click this image. I click copy image, not the URL. I don't save the image. I just click copy image. And then I go right over here to PowerPoint and then I paste it. And then boom, it's right here in PowerPoint. Now, obviously, I need to make this smaller because it's too big. So I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Okay. So now I have an image. Okay. I have an image that I can work with now. So what I'm going to do now, just super simple. I'm not even going to modify this image. All I want to do now is I want to add some text to it. Okay. So here's the cool thing. What you can do, PowerPoint's amazing. It lets you do so many different things with these images and with these slides. So what I want to do is I want to insert a text box. So I clicked insert. And then right over here, it says text box. So I just kind of drag the text box here. And the cool thing about this is you can move it around. You can make it bigger, or smaller. So don't worry about where you start with it. But what you want to do is put some text in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the text, uh, I'm going to put the title of my blog post in here. Okay, so here's the draft. I'm on, I'm on the back office, back end of Kalatu, which is a WordPress platform. By the way, if you're not using Kalatu to blog, you're making a mistake. It's so simple and easy to use. Um, it's, I call it like idiot-proof blogging. So um, if you're looking for a place to blog, this is the place to do it. So uh, I just copied my um, title there and I'm going to go right back here and I'm going to paste it into my box. Okay, so there I have my title there. So obviously this needs a little work. It doesn't look great. It's not colorful. So what I do is I highlight it. I'm going to center it and then I'm going to change the color because I don't like the way it looks. But here's one of the cool things you can do. Once you have your text highlighted like this, you click over here to the format button. 
And check this out. It gives you all kinds of different styles you can choose from. And look what happens when I hover over it. Look at the text behind this. Look over here when I hover over something. Right? And the image is blue, so I'm not going to pick some like ugly green color. I don't like the red. That's no good. So I want to find something that's like visually appealing. That's not bad. That's no good. That's not bad either. So I kind of like that one. Kind of like that one. That's no good. Uh, that's not bad. And I can change it. So here's the cool thing. If you pick something that you like, guess what? It's red. But I can go back over here and say, you know what? I don't want it to be red. I want it to be that color. See how easy that is? Look how cool that is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to reposition it a little bit so it doesn't block the image too much. And now check that out. It's starting to look better, right? Not done. Not perfect. But that looks pretty good. Right? I could stop right there. Right? How to create a custom image or banner for your blog or website for free. That looks pretty good. I really don't need to go much further than that. I could stop right here. Looks pretty cool, right? So if I wanted to like fancify it a little bit, look, it's got the little shadow here. You can turn it on, turn it off. Um, when you highlight the text, there's lots of stuff you can do to it. You can change the color. I can italicize. You know, you can do everything that you would normally do. But I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. It's pretty simple. It's pretty plain. It's very easy. And look how fast that was. Look how fast that was. Okay. So now I've got this slide. So what do I do next, right? I need to create this as an image. Well, that's where Jing comes in. Once you've downloaded Jing and you have it open, you're going to have this little sun on the top of your screen. You see that? The sun shows you that Jing is open. So what you do is you click right here where it says Capture. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you these little targets that you can see. Hopefully you can see this and it's recording this. So what I do is I start at the corner of the screen and I decide like how far down I want to go. I don't need this whole square. So maybe what I'll do is just do something like this. And then I just capture it. And you want to make sure that it's got the whole image in place. You don't want to, you don't want to have any um, edges sticking out like where it's not part of the image. So I just kind of pull everything in a little bit just to make sure the image is inside the whole thing. And then I click on that. That little button that I just clicked. Did you see that? Let me do that again. I want to make sure you saw that. Um, let me cancel this. So what you do, again, here's Jing. You click the capture. You grab the corner. You drag it down to where you want it to go. Like, yeah, right about there is good. And then there's a button right here. It says Capture Image. You can also capture videos, by the way. Um, so I click on Capture Image right here. And then you just give it a name. And what I'll do is I'll just call it the same thing that I called my image, right? How to create. So, And then you click Save. And what it does is it says you can save it to your desktop, save it to your pictures, whatever. Um, I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I click Save. And I'm done. That image has now been saved. Look, so if I go to my desktop, Let's try to find it now because I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Here it is right here. So when I open that image up, look at it. There it is. Perfect. How awesome is that as the featured image for my blog? So I want to give you another example. I just want to show you how easy that is. You saw how easy that is, right? It's so simple. Anybody can do this. But I want to show you something else. I found today a really cool quote on Facebook that somebody posted. And it was, to have the life we deserve, we must let go of the life we've settled for. So I'm going, to create a, I'm going to create a banner for this too, right? So what I'm going to do is i got to search for something, okay? I'm going to create an image. like, And th what this banner I'm doing, the banner that I'm going to create now is just for a Facebook post. It's like you've seen these image posts with quotes on them. I'm just going to create one. So let's do this. To have the life we deserve, we must let go of the life we've settled for. So let's think about what I'll do is search for the life, the life we deserve. Let's see what kind of images we come up with there, okay? And again, you go to images, and let's see what you come up with. All right, see, I don't like any of this stuff. I don't want any, I don't want any uh, quotes of other people. See all this? This is all quotes. It's all text. What I want is I want an image. So what is the life we deserve? How about living on the beach? How about sitting on the beach? Um, something like that, right? We all deserve a life on the beach. So look, there's a lot of these good ones. Ooh, I like that one. She's smiling. There's plenty of room for it. Oh, see, this is a, this is a protected photo. You see that? You can see these grid lines. They want you to download it. Um, same with this one, same with this one. So basically what they're doing is they're selling these images. So as much as I like these, I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to pay somebody for images because they're charging for it. I don't, I, there's plenty of free images online. Um, I could use this one, but you know, she's wearing a thong and I don't know if that's appropriate. Um, I could use that one. Let me see how terrible it looks. Nah, eh, it's not bad. Um, let's see. So you don't want to get too crazy either because you don't want to, you don't want people thinking you're putting porn on Facebook. This is good. Right? Look at that. Happy couple on, on the beach. Okay? So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go over here. 
By the way, you can delete all this, by the way. You can delete this, you can delete the text box, and you start fresh. So I paste the image right back here into Facebook, uh, onto PowerPoint. You can see this image is way too big. So I'm gonna shrink it down. By the way, when you shrink an image down, it gets clearer. So if an image looks pixelated, it's probably too big. So I'm just gonna shrink this down again. Better, right? Getting better. And then I'm gonna insert a text box. Okay, same idea, text box. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that quote. I put it in Notepad just so I wouldn't forget it because I like that quote. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna put it in the text box. And I think what I'll do, let's see if I can make this all caps. I'm gonna make it all caps, boink. See, now it's all caps. I'm gonna center it, I'm gonna bold it, and then I'm gonna pick a different format, something different from the other one, okay? This one can really be anything. That's not bad. Make it a little bigger. And I'm not loving the purple. So I'm gonna change the color. And maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna change the color. I don't love the purple. Black, no. Uh, let's see, dark blue, too dark. Lighter blue. How's that? What do you think? Eh, I don't love that either. That's better. Um, and then you can do this too. You can click the little S, see how it kind of makes it shadowy. Um, they, other, they have other formats too, like you can do um, text effects here. You can add shadows to it. Um, you see what happens to it when I highlight over these things. See that? So there's lots of cool things you can do in PowerPoint. Um, this one, you can do bevel. See, this is cool too. It makes it stand out. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let's see. And I'm just kind of showing you the different things here. That's cool. I like that. Um, now I don't like the color anymore. So what I've done is I changed the effect and the color. I don't like it anymore. So I'm going to change the color, maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, I don't love that. It's too, too, still too dark. So I'm taking a little bit longer on this one. I don't know why, because it's a Facebook image. It's just, it's just a quote that I'm going to share. Um, but you know what? That's the thing. That's the beauty of this. You can play around with this and you can be picky about it or not. That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I don't know if I love that effect, to be honest with you. Um, maybe I would turn that effect off like none and go back to this. So you can also, by the way, you can also change the font, right? That's pretty cool. So that's a little better. Just changing the font. I like it already better. I like it better already. So I'm going to raise that, pull that up a little bit because I don't want the font covering their head. So that's not too bad. The other thing I like to do in my image is I, I like to include the URL to my website. So like when I want people to come to my website, I just throw it into, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right down here. I'm gonna add the link to my website, yourrxforsuccess.net, okay? And that's a little big, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna drag this out first, but I will make the text smaller and I'll make it easier to read. I don't need that. That's, just, that's not supposed to be the featured thing. That's supposed to be the, oh, by the way, if you wanna check that out, you can. So let's see what color looks good. No, white almost disappears. Red is not great either. Green, no, so it's gotta be a darker color. Something subtle. No. Okay, that's better. See, urxforsuccess.net, not bad. Um, again, the color's not ideal. It'd probably be better if it was just on the sand. So I'm going to move it. Yeah, see, that's better. Looks better already. So here we go. Jing, right? Done with the image. Let's capture it. I grab it like that. See, I don't need the whole square, but it's got my image in there, right? Save. So I'll just, I'll just call it the life we deserve. How's that? and I'll save it, okay? And I'll save it to my desktop again, and then I'll close out of this, and this, and that, and where is the life we deserve? So here's the image, you click on it, done. Perfect, All right? And now I can share this to Facebook. So it's really that simple. That's how easy it is to create images, custom images and banners for your blog or website. 
So just to give you an idea, like look over here. Here's my here's my blog page for a second. Um, you see that? Created that. You see this? Created that. I created that. And these are all just uh, these are I created all these. These are all just featured images for my blog post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the featured image that I just created and put it in my blog. Like I'm going to click set, set featured image. I'm going to upload it and I'm going to select it from the desktop, which is the image I just created, right? So I just have to find it. What did I call it? How to, right? How to create. There it is right there. So what, what it does is it just uploads it into my blog eventually. Sometimes my computer is slow when I'm recording a video and that's what's happening right now. So I click see, select featured image and then I just click save draft and watch what happens. So that's saved. I go back here to the preview and I just refresh it and watch this. Bam. How to create a custom image or banner for your blog or website for free. And I just showed you how to do it. So you got to take a little walk along. I'm going to use this. This is the image that I just created for my blog. So now when you see this blog post, if you go to my blog, you'll see this image there because I put it in there and that's it. Done. That's how easy it is. So I hope you guys got some value from this. You do need to have PowerPoint and Jing to do this. Uh, it's super simple. They're both free. Again, I'm going to include links in the blog post, which you're seeing right now, where you can get those things from if you don't already have them. Like I said, there's open source Microsoft Office. If you don't have Office, most computers come pre-installed with Office these days. Um, and then Jing is a free download as well. I'm going to include links for both of those things below this video and below the blog post. Okay, so once again, Dr. Steve, hope you got some value from this. If you did, please leave a comment, click like, share this, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So that's it, guys. Dr. Steve signing off. Uh, have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.